Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack, so happy you're here, so happy you're tuning in. Today, I'm very excited. I'm reviewing a new brand. I'm reviewing Fabletics. So it's a membership and every month you have five days to hit skip this month or they charge your card $55 I think now. And you do get the money like it goes towards if you want to purchase something but if you forget to skip you do get charged. I've been a member for a while and then you just hit skip every month and then you never pay. So I joined under um, a different email to get the <laughs> new member offer where everything's like 80% off. And so when you join you have one hour to get the 80% off deal. I had to like research everything, figure out what I wanted and kept trying to check out. Like I had stuff in my cart. It would say low in stock, but it still let me add it to the cart. And then I go to check out and they were like problem with inventory or something. And it would give you like codes. So then I had to contact customer service and be like, what do these codes mean? And then they told me which items were out of stock. If you see something that says low in stock, it's probably just gone. So the outfits I got are a reflection of what was currently in stock. <laughs> so let's get started. I got three outfits. I'll go outfit by outfit. The first one I got is this very vibrant red color. Could be good, could be bad. So the bra I got has a little twist in the front. Very cute. I will say like the band feels very thick and kind of cheap like it's a very stiff band it also looks very wide probably fit me fine made that mistake before the straps are unadjustable they come to a crisscross in the back it does have the fabletics logo the material's honestly not super brushed and it's not like a soft sleek tech material either kind of hard to describe it's not as soft as i thought it was going to be then I got the matching leggings. I wanted to try these because they had a crossed waist. In my last video, I tried cross waist skirts, and I really like the cross waist detail, but I don't like when it's not high rise enough. There's also a front seam. You got the cross waist, which you want to fit high, but then you got a front seam, and then it can't be too high. <laughs> it does have pockets, which is nice. They look nice and wide. The back, the seam's like straight across, which isn't the most flattering back i like when it has like a little v or something this material not super brush not super sleek nice and thick so i'm not super impressed with the quality not particularly soft but not like the workout material either i don't know it's just very stiff and like scratchy so the bra fits pretty well even though it had unadjustable straps the v is kind of low so if you got big bitties probably be popping especially with this keyhole but I do think the twist it's like a very feminine looking bra I probably wouldn't do any major I guess I could do arm day I don't know if you're bending over it might be like and then honestly not terrible for run I would not run but it's not horrible that band is nice and thick and secure so while like holding it I didn't love the way it feels when it's on it does provide good support this is the back I like the shape of the back I think it's very flattering the straps are nice and thick the bra's not horrible but do I prefer other activewear bras yes yes I do and then moving on to the leggings so i'm sure you've noticed i've kind of been pulling them up a little bit i got these in a size medium and they fit really nice but they don't provide a ton of compression however i think a small would be too tight like the camel toe situation would probably be a lot worse if you're in between and you don't care about camel toe you could size down if you do i'd probably size up but just know you do get a little like extra bunching places my belly button does peek out the teensiest bit if i continually pull it up and rearrange like it'll cover it but then if you move it all it'll kind of roll down again if you don't have a short torso your belly button will probably be out the camel dough is not horrible it just did feel a little bit big in the crotch but i think that's better because i don't love camel toe the pockets are nice and deep i do like how fabletics has pockets on most things this is the back I would say they're pretty squat proof. You'll probably see underwear lines, but I don't think you would worry about anything else. I think these are 25 inches. I'm 5'3". It has a little bit of room at the ankle. There is also like a slight flare out at the ankle. I don't love that. It seems to be doing it on my left side, but not my right. So maybe I gotta work on my left calf, my left ankle region. If you have super small ankles, there might be a little gaping, which I typically do not like. But it is nice that they're like leaving generous room on the calves. 
For these reviews, I got some wild colors. I also got, wait for it, this bra. So it actually is the same exact bra. Different color, different pattern. The pink cheetah. Same twist front, unadjustable strap, same cross back, same size. Oh my gosh. The pattern on the cheetahs are hearts. <laughs> Did you know that was anatomically, scientifically accurate? Yeah, more you know. The pattern's on the inside too, so that'll be good at least like around the seams. I don't like when it's like white and then when it folds over the seams show like the white inside. Same like super thick band. Um, let's see, I got Pure Lux leggings. I like these, I like the seam detail. So these are black, but they have really bold seams in white in the front and the back. This one has a straight across waistband, front seam again, pockets. Oh, this back has a little bit more of a glute contour. So while it has the straight across band, it also has this little guy, little curved seam detail. All right, not gonna lie, kind of F with this print. I feel like I look like a stepmom <laughs> that won't let go. I love the color, the print's cool. Same exact fit as the red. If anything, might fit the teensiest bit looser, like it feels a little lower. And then the band feels a little lower as well. This is the back. I feel like I'm in like Kappa Chi, Kappa Delta, Beta, Omega. So these leggings are very high. So my belly button's like here. They're almost touching the bottom of the sports bra. The mediums definitely fit like a bit loose. I like the seam detail though a lot. Spices them up a little bit. Pockets again. This is the back. Yeah, I'd say definitely squat proof. A similar thing with the ankles. So I pull them up a little bit. So it hits my massive calves. I like these more. I F with this outfit though. <laughs> Don't I look kind of cool? Okay, and then my last outfit, I got a nice neutral outfit. I got a different sports bra. I saw this one and it actually reminded me a little bit of the Gymshark Whitney bra. Just with the like contour, you know, that little underwire look. It has a v-neck. The band, I don't know if you can see it. It's just so stiff and thick but this one feels like more of a rubber band i do really like the front and then the back has straight across straps that are adjustable this feels like a very similar material not super sleek not super brushed this might be marginally softer than the other two bras so the red and the black leggings were pure luxe and then these are power hold straight across front seam these don't have pockets and the back has a straight across seam as well the waistband does feel a little bit more secure probably that power hold okay last outfit i've come to the conclusion i think fabletics might run a little bit bigger just in general i got a size medium and everything and the leggings seem to fit a little big and the bra seem to fit a little big not big enough to size down but looser than size medium bras usually fit me. <laughs> I really like this one, the V-neck, it's not too low. The underband detailing I think is super elegant and chic. It has slight contouring right underneath. And then this band, it does feel like a different material than the past two bras. Like it definitely feels more elasticy. It would have good side boob coverage. It's not cut in too deep. This is the back. On one of the things, you could connect it so it's a racer back. I really like this. It's a little bit longer, so it does look more of a tank. It's nice and thick. The padding isn't seen through. So the material, again, is not like super breathable. It's not thin or brushed or sleek. But I mean, it's a tank, so I don't think it'd be very like not breathable. But the material itself, it's like kind of thick and warm. I definitely wear it on walks. It's very casual. My back probably looks massive in it though. <laughs> I have a massive back. These leggings, I didn't really know what to expect. So these are the power hold. And I will say, I think I feel a lot more held in these than the other two. So this one doesn't have side pockets, but it does have like a little front pocket here. You couldn't put anything too big or it'd be uncomfortable. The waistband is like double banded with the material like coming up and over. So it does feel very thick. But yeah, I feel nice and held in. These seem to fit a little bit more true to size to other size mediums. This is the back. I would say all these leggings hit at the same point, right above the ankle, 25 inch probably, and then have a slight flare. I think the glute seam kind of cuts your butt. In the black, it wasn't as obvious, but in this one, it does kind of 
flatten. So these, because they're tighter, they kind of sit a little bit lower. Like the other ones, when you pull them up, they came up really high, which could cause an issue for camel toe. I'm not really having issues, and the material is like nice and thick, so this one's definitely more compressive. All right, that's it for my review of Fabletics. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Overall, I would say I like other activewear brands better. I like different materials better. If you are looking to get certain activewear Fabletics, the VIP deals when you sign up cannot be beat. It's a great way to like build your activewear wardrobe from the beginning when you're not a little Goldilocks princess like myself. I'll definitely keep the white tank. I think it's great. I generally like sports bras better than leggings anyway. I will say the leggings, probably because they ran a little bit big, I didn't feel self-conscious in them. They didn't roll down. They weren't tight on my waist. So for that, I like it. Like this video if you found it helpful. Comment below if you have any questions about the pieces or advice on what I should keep. And please subscribe to my channel for future activewear reviews. Thanks. Bye. Love you.